Hi, I'm Matthew Moran with Pulse Informatics. I'm going to show you an example of a document assembly generator, proposal generator, similar to something I've built for a number of insurance companies, law firms, and other clients. The demo I'm going to show you uses a Microsoft Access database, a series of Word templates, and auto text entries that are stored in a global template. And I'm going to show you a couple slides as an overview, and then we're going to jump right into the demo. As I stated, the document assembly system is built using Microsoft Access, Microsoft Word, and Visual Basic for Applications, or VBA. And so let's take a look at the components that make up the system. So the Microsoft Access database stores customers, and it also stores the Word template paths, a listing of the auto text entries, and then auto text groups, and I'll explain what those are. And then in Word, we have the actual template files and the global, the global template with the auto text. So those are the primary pieces there. So just briefly looking at the auto text entries, they have a um, two character intro that specifies the section they're in and then a three digit um, classification that kind of groups similar text together and then an iteration of code or an iteration of text is the final two digits. So AA010 is a specific block of text and then the 00, 02, 04, there could be different iterations would specify a, a variation on that text. And so that would be true. So what we're seeing there is you see AA010.00 and then you see AB015.00 and AB015.02. Anyways, that's how the auto text entries are created. And that's how we kind of did it for this contract assembly system. Um, then what we have is in the database, I group those together. So that specifies, the grouping specifies which auto text entries we're going to use to populate a given document because we can use any variation of them. And so I might create a group that has two um, auto text entries specified, but I could create another group that has four or five or 10 or however many they want to include. And what's going to happen is those are going to be used to create the final document. So what happens on the user side of things is the user enters customer information and then they'll have a screen and I'm going to demonstrate this to you where they can select a template. They select a um, auto text group that's going to have some specification of auto text entries to use and they click to create the final document and the user can go in and modify an auto text group or create a new one as needed. So we'll take a look at that as well. And then on the system automation side, access creates a new document using a word object and um, it's based on whatever selected template they select they they uh, they select during that process. And then the auto text entries that are going to be utilized are expanded into the document and all of the unused auto text entries are removed from the document because they, they they're in the template. They're waiting there to be populated. Um, there's some state specific auto text that's expanded and then contact fields are filled in at the end that come from the customer record. Now let's take a look at the actual process as it occurs. This is the basic customer screen and I've just put two list boxes on there. One shows the templates, one shows the um, auto text groupings. And we're gonna take a quick look at the database that um, makes up the auto text groupings. So um, I'm gonna close this screen so I can show you that table. We're going to take a look at what makes up an auto text grouping. So I'll open that form, just created a very simple form and subform, and you see the auto text entries in there. These are the auto text entries, if I choose that grouping, that will show up and be expanded in the template. Any other auto text that could possibly be in that template won't be included in the final document. So this is where you could customize and create um, include what text you want in a contract or a proposal or whatever document you're generating. Um, and of course, you don't have to use these specific numbers. This is just one mechanism that we found useful um, for organizing uh, contract language. So let's go back to our customer form. And I'm just going to show you, we'll select a template. And we will select a auto text grouping and press the button to launch the application. 
word launches and now the auto text entries that we're going to populate are filled out and the rest of them are removed and the document is ultimately generated so there goes the text fills in the information we need fills in the contact information and voila the documents completed Now in the second video, we're going to show something else. I just want to show us creating a brand new auto text grouping. And once again, I just created a very simple subform. So let me navigate to the end and we're creating a new entry and give it a name. And then I've just made it so that you can use a combo box to select the available auto text entries. And so we just populate that as needed. So I'm going to add a couple in here. And we just see that there are several codes that fall under a single grouping, and that should be enough. So two codes, so we'll drop that out. And now let's go back to our form so we could launch our application. So now the new grouping shows up. I select a template and kick off the process. And so Word launches, selects the template. Once again, the auto text entries that we're going to include are expanded out, and the other auto text entries are removed from the document. And here we see the information filled in, including the contact information. And once again, the document is completed. If you're watching this on YouTube and you look down in the description, there will be a link to a blog entry at pulseinformatics.com. If you're watching on Facebook, it should be in the posting where I put a link. Otherwise, go to pulseinformatics.com, go to the blog, and you should be able to find the blog entry related to this. Um, if not, send me an email to info at pulseinformatics.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions, and I might get around to cleaning things up a bit and posting all the code, inclu including the, um, the templates and the auto text entries with some instructions on how to make it all work. Hopefully you found it interesting, and once again, if you have any questions, contact me at pulseinformatics.com. Thanks.